Welcome to another weekly maritime video blog. I'm Corey Ranslam here at International Maritime Security Associates. We have Justin the intern behind the camera. As always, we are glad you've tuned in today. Today we're going to talk about maritime security companies. Over the past number of episodes, we've been talking about different regulatory compliance, security, maritime security related topics. This week, we thought we'd take a little bit of a break from that and talk actually about maritime security companies and give you a couple of pointers to help you when you're in the search for a maritime security company. And we really look at there's, there's two kinds of companies. Some companies do both, but there's really kind of two kinds of companies out there. First, there's the companies that provide what we would consider more of the high risk operation. They provide the armed personnel, or in some cases, unarmed personnel, to help on your shipboard operations, to help get you through those high-risk areas around the world. The other group of companies are companies that provide the regulatory compliance and risk management. So we wanted to give you some pointers if you're interested in hiring one of these companies of just a couple of things to look at. This list is not all-encompassing. It's just a couple of items to kind of get you to think. Now, if there's anything that we can do here at IMSA to help you out with that, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We have a lot of experience and have dealt with a number of companies in both areas. And depending on what your needs are, we can probably connect you with someone if we can't do the work ourselves. So first, we have the high risk companies. Those are the companies that provide the armed personnel to go on board your vessel to help you through those high risk areas around the world. A few things to consider when you're hiring those companies. Number one, you want to look at companies that have been in business longer than five years, that have a little bit of a track record, that have some customers, and that have experienced personnel. That will really help you be able to determine if they have the capacity to execute on your operation. Remember, whether you're looking at the high risk or the regulatory compliance, price should not be your primary consideration. Price sometimes can cause a problem when it gets to quality um, and can turn out to cost you a heck of a lot more in the long run. So with the high risk companies, you also want to take, at the, take a look at the type of personnel that they have. You want to look at companies that have personnel who have served in some kind of official government, law enforcement, military, or Coast Guard capacity for at least five to 10 years before they've started working for the company. So they have an understanding of how to safely execute these high risk other op operations. The other thing you want to look at with this type of a company is the past clients. Sometimes you run into confidentiality problems, but there are clients that these companies have that would be willing to speak to you about their experience. It's a good idea to try to search out those companies or have the company you're interested in hiring connect you with some of their past customers. It really gives you a good, most of the time, unbiased view of their operations. On the other side of it, we have the regulatory compliance and the risk management companies. These are the companies that provide the plans, procedures, and the compliance side that will also help your high risk operations. Same with this side as the high risk side. On the regulatory compliance side, you want a company that's been in business for at least 10 years. I think that should be longer than, than the high risk side just because regulations change. You want to have people who are ingrained in the regulations and have a really strong understanding of the ISPS, the flag state requirements, MTSA requirements in the United States. So you want to have a company that has really a deep bench of experience. You also want to take a look at the same on this side as the high risk is people who've worked in the government side, people who've worked for the flag states, people who've worked for Coast Guard and military organizations that deal with that regulatory compliance. They usually have contacts and people that they can reach out to to ensure that your plans get done correctly the first time and in the end don't end up costing you a lot of money. And the same on the regulatory side with the high risk side, make sure that you're able to speak to some of their past clients to get that unbiased opinion on how they've done. If there's any questions that you have on the regulatory compliance or the shipboard side or anything that we can help you with in risk management, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're happy to do this, to put these plans together because ultimately the driving force here at IMSA with everything we do is to provide a plan that will help you protect your crew, protect your vessel, your passengers, your cargo, and hopefully over the long term, reduce some of your operating costs. If you have any questions or comments on this video or the litany of other YouTube videos we've posted, make sure you put your comments and questions below. Make sure you hit that like button if you like these videos. Subscribe 
to our social media, which is detailed in the banner above or in the comment section below. We have a lot of really exciting things planned for our YouTube channel in the coming months. Make sure you always check back on our Life and Events page. We're gonna be posting some new videos up there about just different things that are going on in our life. We're also gonna be starting a new page that we call Opinions and Editorials. So that's gonna be more um, opinion and information on kind of some current maritime events that are going on. We're gonna be posting there occasionally. So make sure you check back often to see all the new updates and the crazy fun things that are happening here on the IMS say YouTube channel. We're happy to steer you in the right direction. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you check out last week's video, which should be located in a box somewhere around here. Getting better at this all the time. Also, make sure you check out our life and events page. We have cool stuff that's going to be happening over there as well.